Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at combining and layering video effects in Resolume Avenue 4. If you're unfamiliar with Resolume, please check out our introductory video on Resolume, which is linked in the video description below. Resolume allows you to add multiple video effects onto individual clips and layers, as well as the entire composition. Combining effects gives you even more creative control over your visual mixes and really allows you to go crazy with the visuals that you have playing. So let's take a look at an example of two effects used together. You'll notice that on the upper left hand side of the screen, we have a larger view of our output and that will allow you to easily see the differences when we add these effects as opposed to just the smaller output monitor that you'll see underneath the bigger output display. So to access the effects, you wanna make sure that you go to the bottom right hand side of the screen and you wanna be on the effects tab You'll see that there are video and audio effects separated into two different categories. We're gonna be focusing on the video effects today and not the audio effects. So again, we have this clip playing. It's a nice little triangle that's kind of spinning around. And we're going to go ahead and add our first effect, which is going to be the video wall. And we're gonna be using the panning preset. So I'm gonna click and drag that from the effects section onto our clip. I'm just gonna twirl down the properties. Now you can see that the effect has been applied. It's going to copy that clip and then align those copies onto a grid and then move the grid around the screen. So we have a nice little effect here where we've got multiple copies of the clip. It's kind of moving around. It looks pretty nice. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply the Shift RGB preset. So we're gonna scroll up in our effects section here and we're going to go ahead and just click and drag the acid trip preset onto the clip. Okay, now this is a pretty crazy effect that we've got going on, but it's not exactly what I want. You'll see that the shift RGB effect is taking the video wall effect into consideration when applying its own parameters to the clip. But what if we wanted the shift RGB effect to happen before the video wall? Well, to achieve this, we need to know a little bit about Resolume's render order. You see, in Resolume, effects are layered on top of each other and rendered from the top down. So right now we can see that our video wall effect is being applied first, it's at the very top. That means that it is going to be rendered first, and then the next effect, which is below it, our shift RGB, will be rendered and applied. So if we wanna have the shift RGB effect applied first, we're gonna to need to put it on top of the effect stack. So to do this, we're going to click here on this icon all the way to the right, which is kind of three horizontal lines stacked on top of each other. We're going to click and drag and you'll, we're going to move it above the video wall. You can see there's sort of a bright blue line which indicates where it's going to be going in the stack. So we're going to let go of our mouse and now we see there's a completely different effect happening. So right now our clip has two effects on it, but what if we wanted to add another one or a fourth or a fifth? or sixth, or however many you wanted. Well, depending on where the effect is located in that layer of effects, it's going to produce a different result. Let's take a look at this with the polka dot effect. So I'm gonna go over to the effects section on the bottom right. I'm going to click and drag that onto the clip, and you can see that we have the option of where it's going to go in the effect stack, and we're gonna make sure that the bright blue line is at the very top, which means that it's going to be applied first. So we'll let that go. And you can see up in the upper left hand side what that effect does. I'm just gonna twirl these parameters away because we're not really focusing on that for right now. So again, here we have the order of polka dot, shift RGB, video wall. Well, what if we change the order a bit? So I'm gonna move the polka dot effect underneath the shift RGB. So now we have the shift RGB effect, the polka dot, and then the video wall. And you'll see that the result is different from how it was before. Finally, we're going to put the polka dot effect on the very bottom. So we'll move that underneath the video wall. And again, you can see that we have a very different effect. So let's take a look now at a few more examples of how the effect layer order matters. Here we have a new clip and it has the kaleidoscope and low res effects applied to it with the kaleidoscope effect placed on top of the low res effect. Now let's take a look at what happens when we reverse the layer order. So I'm gonna drag the kaleidoscope effect underneath the low res, and when I let go of the mouse, the order will be changed and you'll see that the effects that are being applied 
will result in a different visual composition. Here's another example using the same clip. We have the dot screen and blur effects applied to the clip with the dot screen effect on top of the blur effect. Because the blur effect is on the bottom, it's going to be applied last, which is why we see that the video is blurred. The dots that are created from the dot screen effect are blurred and not very round. Well, if we wanted to reverse that and have the blur come before the dot screen effect, we can simply click and drag on the blur effect, put it above the dot screen, and release our mouse. Now we see that the video is being blurred, but the dots from the dot screen effect are nice and round. I hope this video inspired you to try to experiment with using multiple effects at the same time in Resolume Avenue 4. With so many effects to choose from, the possibilities are almost endless. Thanks for watching this video on combining and layering effects in Resolume Avenue 4. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.